Good morning everyone. Here's a cooling fan from a Fanix spindle amplifier module. This part number is A06B-6082-H211H51. Now we're going to test this fan to make sure that it's functional. This fan has feedback. The feedback is on this yellow wire. And we apply plus 24 and ground to the red and black wire. Now in order for me to power up this fan, I'm going to use these resistors because I don't have that connector. I'm going to use these resistors so that I can connect onto that fan. I need to get a bigger resistor there. There we go. That's a good one. Let's bend that out of the way there. Let's use this resistor right here. That'll be for the black wire, the ground. And one more for the feedback, the yellow wire. All right. Now, the feedback is open collector, so I've got this 10K ohm pull-up resistor that I'm going to attach to 5 volts and the other side of the resistor to the yellow wire. Uh, 24 volts is going to go to the red wire and the black wire. Here's our 24 volt power supply. Let's use the bottom one so you can see it. There we go. There's our 24 volt power supply. And over here, this is going to be for our 5 volt pull up resistor. First thing we want to do before we check that feedback on the yellow wire, let's make sure that the that the fan powers up. All right, that's good. It's running. Let's use the bottom one too, so you can see what's going on there. Here's our 5 volts output. Let's connect the ground of the 5 volt to the ground of the 24 volts. Here's our pull up resistor, it's 10 kilo ohms. We're going to attach that. To the yellow wire. Now with the oscilloscope we're going to look at the output. I need to connect ground of the oscilloscope to ground of the 24 volt DC power supply and ground of the 5 volt DC power supply. Now the probe of the oscilloscope is going to look at the output of the yellow wire. We can connect that right here on this resistor. The pull-up resistor is also connected to the yellow wire, so we can connect that right there. Now, let's take a look and see what that feedback output of that cooling fan does on the oscilloscope. Okay, the fan is off. We're going to power up the 
5 volt power supply. The oscilloscope is set for 5 volts per division and with the pull up resistor connected to 5 volts and the fan turned off we have 5 volts on the oscilloscope. Now I'm going to turn the fan on and look at that. We've gone from 5 volts to ground. 5 volts to 0 volts. Let's turn the fan off. Ah, we've gone from 0 volts to 5 volts. So this fan right here, when the fan is off, we have 5 volts. When the fan is on, we have 0 volts. Fan on, 0 volts. Fan off, 5 volts. Fan is off. Fan is on. Off. On. Fan off. Fan on. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Now that's how the drive knows that the fan has failed. And if you ever see alarm number one on your FANUC drive of this model number, that means that the fan is not running. And this is how the drive knows that the fan has failed. Fan off. Fan on. That is nice. That is fascinating. All right, all. Thank you very much for stopping by and uh, helping me to test this cooling fan feedback. <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? That's all right. Have a good day, all. We'll see you next time. Evening, all. Here we're at the house again. <laughs> oh, I got all my chores done. Did laundry, filled up the bird feeders, washed the core. Did all kinds of things today on my day off. <laughs> well, <laughs> your day off sounds like work. Well, yeah, we work a lot around here. <laughs> okay, here's the cooling fan that you'll usually find in the Fanic servo amplifier module or the FANUC power supply module and it is model FBA06T24H made by Matsushita Electric. The red and black wires power up that fan to rotate. Red going up to 24 volts DC and the black wire going to ground. The yellow wire is the feedback back to the drive or power supply to say hey we got a problem we're not rotating <laughs> so to test your cooling fan feedback we want to take the yellow wire to an oscilloscope or voltmeter and the oscilloscope voltmeter tied to the power supply grounds uh, plus 24 volts DC on the red wire, black wire on ground. That'll bring that cooling fan up and spinning. Now, the yellow wire, the feedback wire, 
I take it up to a second power supply plus 5 volts DC with a pull-up resistor of 10 kilo ohms. I'm always worried about damaging the internals, the internal electronics of these cooling fans and that's why I use 10 kilo ohms. You won't have a whole lot of current draw back to ground through this open collector output with the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now you could use a 1K, but I always like to fail on the safe side. <laughs> when the cooling fan was off, we had plus 5 volts pulled up through the 10 kilo ohm resistor and we saw 5 volts here at this point on the oscilloscope. When the cooling fan was running the output, the open collector output was pulled to ground and we had 0 volts on the yellow wire. So cooling fan off 5 volts. Cooling fan on and running, 0 volts. Is it that neat? <laughs> that is fascinating. Now why would you want to monitor whether your cooling fan is running or not? Well, these drives and power supplies, they overheat and they need that airflow through the cabinet of that drive or power supply to remain a comfortable temperature. And if this cooling fan failed, that temperature is going to go up. And you don't want to be running these things for very long, overheating. <laughs> so, a cooling fan is very important and that's why they monitor whether this is working or not working. Now I'm going to talk about a few things that are problematic with this fan. When you order a new one, the original fan on that board, and I don't know what happened, but the new fans that come in, they're never configured the same connector-wise as the original fanic fan that comes out of your drive. So, I don't have the connector draw it in here, but there's a connector that connects these three wires down to the power board of the FANUC servo drive, spindle drive, or power supply. Now pin 1 is usually yellow. Well, no, I take that back. On the board, pin 1 is yellow, pin 2 is black, and pin 3 is red. But you will get new fans, <laughs> and this is, this is, I don't know how this happened. But you will get new fans that pin 1 will be yellow or white. Pin 2, which should be black on the power board, is red. And pin 3, which should be red on the power board, is black. So the red and the black are crisscrossed on that connector. And when you hook up your new fan, if you don't have the red and the black going to the correct pins, you'll smoke the internals of that fan. <laughs> it won't work right. Where those new fans come from, I have no idea. But I am absolutely certain that the Japanese didn't do it. They got a little bit more integrity and smarts than to flip your 24 volt and ground backwards <laughs> oh lordy be
People, how you know you'll smoke that fan if you get that red and black wire backwards? Well, I'll tell you why, because I've done it. <laughs> Ordered in a new fan to replace a bad fan and tore up a brand new fan. Shoot fire. Had y'all ever heard anybody cuss? <laughs> I used up all my cuss words that day. I had to order some new cuss words because I used all my cuss words up. <laughs> I can't cuss until next week when I get my new cuss words. My new box of cuss words come in the mail. <laughs> Lord, he be. Uh, enough of that. I'm rambling now. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, yes. Okay. If, for some reason, you cannot get this fan with the feedback, what you can do is flip the power board upside down. Uh, now, you, let me back up a little bit. You're going to have a 24-volt DC fan, and it's not going to have this feedback output that uh, when it's off we're at 5 volts when it's running we're at ground if you can get a cooling fan with just the 24 volt DC spec to make that thing rotate what you can do uh, flip the power board upside down and tie pin 1 to pin two where the yellow wire would have been you don't have it now because you just have a regular 24 volt DC fan you have to trick the drive into thinking that this fan is running so tie where the yellow wire would have been that pin on that connector of the power board to ground and the drive will think that the fan is running. That is only if you cannot get this fan. Now these fans are fairly thin. They're about that thin and about that wide, that square. So you don't want to get you uh, a replacement fan that's too wide otherwise you won't be able to get the covers back on this thing. So spec out your fan to fit that little gap between the covers and the attaching point. You can find one. They're out there. Well there's all the there's all the things that uh, we know about these fans. Watch your wire colors <laughs> if you do get one with the red and black swap all you gotta do is swap them back around to the correct uh, the correct way pin one yellow pin two black pin three red you'll see it on the original fan that comes out of it if you can't get the original fan jump pin one to pin two on the power board connector to fake this out Done it before. Didn't hurt nothing. Drive's still running. <laughs> it's always nice though if you can get that original cooling fan so that if this does seize up, you'll, uh, you'll get that alarm number one on the drive seven segment display. Okay folks. Enjoy y'all coming over and watching us talk about the Fanic Cooling Fan. Made by Matsushita Electric, model FBA06T24H. I can't stress enough to try to get the original. If you can, if you can, well you know how to fake it out now. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Have a good night.